Congratulations on your purchase of your MechPro Transformer Arc Welder. We'd like to take a few moments to guide you through the assembly and setup of your new machine, so you can easily weld projects from 2 to 6 mm. Your Mac Pro welder has been designed for the DIY automotive user to use on mild steel. This DVD is intended as a quick setup and brief introduction. We recommend you read your manual for more detailed information for the correct use of your welding machine. The full series of welding training DVDs are available from your local Repco store. Included in the box are the following items. Instruction manual. DVD setup guide. Handheld face shield. Chipping hammer wire brush combination tool. 2 mm handy pack of electrodes. Handle feet, axle wheels, nuts and bolts, the power source and electrode holder and earth lead. Please check all the accessories are in the box and there has been no freight damage to the machine or accessories. Here's how to install the wheels, foot and handle allowing easy manoeuvring of your welder. The input power lead is suitable to be plugged into any 10 amp power socket. The large dial is used to select the correct amperage for your chosen electrode. This is indicated on the top of the power source. To ensure the correct amperage is selected, please refer to your user manual or electrode packaging. Insert the bare end of the electrode into the electrode holder. The earth lead and clamp are used to complete the electrical circuit. A good earth on clean steel ensures optimum welding performance. When the power switch is on, the machine is activated. The green power on light will glow and the cooling fan will start. It's important to remember that once the power is on, there is power to the electrode holder. Only turn your machine on when you're ready to weld. The minimum requirement for welding is leather safety gloves and a welding face mask. Other options for full protection are leather welding jackets, leather welding aprons, and full face automatic welding helmets. The automatic welding helmets make things very easy by changing to the correct protection instantly when the weld starts. These optional accessories are all available from your nearest Repco store. Before you start welding, it's a good idea to practice on steel offcuts, to familiarise yourself with your new machine and to make sure the settings are correct. With your workpiece and earth clamp secure, turn on the power source. There are two methods which can be used to start or strike the arc, the tapping method and the scratching method. In the tapping method, the electrode is brought straight down and tapped on the workpiece. With the scratching method, the electrode is dragged at an angle along the surface, much like striking a match. Regardless of method, upon contact with the plate, immediately raise the electrode or it will stick to the surface. Raise the electrode to a distance equal to the diameter of the electrode. Always hold the electrode pointed into the weld. Grip the electrode holder tightly. Keeping your elbow close to your side will help keep your hand steady. Factors affecting the speed necessary for completing a good weld are the type and diameter of electrode, amperage, position and workpiece thickness. 
When the speed is too fast, the bead is narrow and bead ripples are pointed. When the speed is too slow, the weld metal piles up and the bead is high and wide. After completing the weld, wait for the welded sections to cool. A protective coating called slag now covers the weld bead which prevents contaminants in the air from reacting with the molten metal. Once the weld cools to the point that it's no longer glowing red, the slag can be removed. Removal is done with a chipping hammer. Lightly tap the slag with the hammer and break it loose from the weld bead. The final cleanup is done with a wire brush. When making multiple weld passes, remove the slag before each pass. Your Repco welder is protected by the thermal overload circuit. If the orange light is glowing, your unit has reached its rated duty cycle. Remove the electrode from the electrode holder. Place the electrode holder away from the earth clamp. Allow the fan to cool the welder. When the light stops glowing, you are free to weld again. Many things can affect your duty cycle, such as running the unit on extension leads or hot or cold environments. You have now started your journey in welding. Be sure to check out your local Repco branch for welding consumables, accessories and training resources to help you with your projects. We'd like to wish you all the best with your welding projects.